Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we're here um, with another ta tag for you guys. So what we're gonna do today is kind of like the the slang tag. I don't know if there's any tag like that. I guess I'm making it up or not, I don't know. So basically, I'm from Nigeria and Carson is from Canada. So we're gonna have like five rounds each to say a slang from our country and the other person has to guess what the slang means. So um, maybe two guesses, what do you think? Uh, one guess is fine, I just, I have a rule. You have to use it in a sentence. Obviously. Okay, good, as long as we're on the same page there because... Obviously. Yeah. Okay, so do you want to go first? I went first the last time, you go yeah, first. Yeah, now that there's no whipped cream on the table, <laughs> she's letting me go first. I you smell. go first. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, one sec, I got them on my phone. Okay, so Canadian slang number one. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I hope Keith watches this. He'll be like, yes, the whole time. Is uh, Keener. So I'll use it in a sentence. Okay. Ah, oh, don't be such a keener all the time. Don't be such a keener of the time. What, is it one guess? No, it's like two guess, Just right? one guess, one guess, one guess. make it hard. Don't be such a keener. Don't be such a... Oh, you're such a keener. Why are you always such a keener, eh? Like a, like a buzz killer? Like you kill the mood of like, when somebody's like, hey, you're like, you're like a Debbie Downer? Not quite. Keener's more like um, somebody who's like kind of nerdy, I guess. But it, it's sort of like when you're always the guy that's like, "What are we doing? Where are we going?" Like you're keen on. Uh, so like in a, it would be different in different settings. If you're like in school, the Keener's always the one who's like, like the smart chat, like you forgot the last Exactly, night. exactly. Oh, I see. Yeah, or like a Keener for this video would be like you when you're like, let's make a video! And like, I don't want to put pants on. You're being a keener. <laughs> okay. That would be that. Would be that. So. Yeah. Don't be such a keener. Okay. Okay, I've learned one. Zero thing. points. Okay, my turn. Oh, this no. one is very easy. I tell, I say this all the time. So you should know this. I don't even have to put this in a sentence for you to know this one. If you fail this one, I'm gonna be like, I've not done my best enough. Yeah, but you, you, you say everything, but when I ask you what they mean, you go, I don't know, I don't know what they mean. Okay, so. okay, okay. Um, how far? How far is like, is that slang though? Yeah, is like, it just pigeon? My guy, how far? Oh, it's just like, hello. Yeah, yeah. Basically. One point I, for the Oyibo white boy! <laughs> Woo! I made this one very easy for you. Okay, your turn, your second one. Number two. <laughs> I forgot I wrote this one. Two six. Americans don't use this one. I've used it in Texas. Okay. Like, oh, let's go buy a 2-6, eh? Oh my god. Let's get a 2-6 for the party. 2-6. Yeah. Can you use it like another sentence? Uh... Uh... Is don't bring a 2-6 because we're taking it easy tonight. Don't bring too much drink. Because we're taking it easy tonight? You're close, but not quite. A 2.6 is a 26 ounce bottle of alcohol. So like a big tall, like a bottle of whiskey. Mm -hmm. You'd say like, I'm gonna go pick up a 2.6 because it's 26 ounces, I guess. Ah, uh, yes. I see. Yes, and a 2.4, I believe a 24 pack of beer. But I don't, I don't know. I don't hear that in BC very often. I think that's an Ontario thing. Okay. I could be wrong. So I'm like two nothing now. Right? Like I have yeah. to go anyway. Well, no. Uh, it's one nothing. I have one point. You have zero points. <laughs> Two nothing. Okay. This one is a bit hard. Um, you deform my hand. Oh. So in a sentence, you're like, Carson, why you deform my hand? Hmm. You deform my hand? Fall my hand. You deform my hand. So in a sentence it could be, Carson, Carson you deform my why hand. you deform my hand? Why you deform my hand? Or like, hand? Carson, make sure say you know fall my hand though. That makes it harder. Um, oh my hand. Like, um, I want to say like, no, it couldn't be that. I don't know. <laughs> um, you deform my hand. Is it like you made me, you made me tell you something? Are you asking me? You're supposed to guess. <laughs> well, that is my guess. Like you, you, cause I'm thinking like poker hand, like you made me show my hand. We have that, we have that phrase. Like, oh, I had to show my hand. 
So is it, is it kind of like that? Like you? No. Not even close. It means, not close at all. It means like, you didn't fall my hand, it means you're disappointing me. So fall my hand is like a disappointment. So Carson, no fall my hand, it means Carson, don't disappoint me. Oh. So. I've never heard you say that no, one. No, And never. I disappoint you daily. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's a surprise. Okay. Okay, so we're like the same score now, right? Uh, one, one. one, one, yeah. Okay. Uh, this kid, this, you gotta get this one. Okay. I'm sure I've told you this one. Double, double. <laughs> Let's go to Tim Hortons for a double, double. Excuse me. Wow. Oh, I'm so ashamed. Canadian, we would never say Tim Hortons. I'm sorry, Canadian. What Timmy's, would you say? Timmy's. Okay. Let's go to, oh. Let's go. Unsubscribe. Every Canadian on our channel, all four of them have now unsubscribed. <laughs> Let's go to Timmy's for a double double. I smell like a double poutine. <laughs> <laughs> it should be. Holy shit, it should be. Double double is like a coffee with two creams, two sugars. Why would anybody want? Why? I don't know. Don't two you just cream. put one cream and a sugar? In well, that's a. That's just one cream, one sugar. Two and two is a double double. Or you get a triple triple, but that's just like, you're just drinking a coffee flavored milk <laughs> shake at that point. So. Does it taste good? I don't drink Tim Hortons coffee. So. Oh. And my dad drinks black coffee, so I, I don't think he would be able to answer that either. Okay. All right, my next one is your head no correct. This one is pretty easy. Your, your head no correct. So, well, see, but it sounds self-explanatory, but I know you're gonna say I'm wrong okay, if I don't so, get every little detail <laughs> right. So, to be like, again, Carson, your head no correct though. Like, you're totally wrong. Like, you're, you're wrong about this. Or you're being crazy. Yeah, you're being crazy. Yes. <laughs> yes. Two to one. Okay, this one should be pretty self-explanatory. Okay. Um, this one is weird because it's a Canadian term, but like I've never actually heard a Canadian use it, mm -hmm. except when they're talking about Canadian slang like we're doing right now. Okay. Or if you're like 90 years old, you might use it, but it's still around. Chesterfield. Oh. So let's go to the furniture store, see I'm making this easy for her, okay. and buy ourselves a Chesterfield. I never thought Canada had Canada had slang. Yeah, to wow. With. Different countries have different slang. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go to the furniture store and buy ourselves a shiny brand new Chesterfield. Is it like Chesterfield? Put it in like another sentence. Uh, my dog pissed on the Chesterfield. <laughs> My, so is it like 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 the couch? <laughs> it is. Yes, it's a couch. <laughs> it's a couch. I don't know why that part is funny, but yeah, it's a couch. I'm just laughing because I would. I just guess. Yeah, like, it's a couch. It's, I guess. I don't know. Really? Old people. I've heard like old old people be like, I got myself a Chesterfield. <laughs> I've never heard like a young. It's such a bougie term. Like, I say. I've never heard your parents say. Chesterfield. No, no. The day my dad or mom say Chesterfield, I'll make fun of them for <laughs> officially. That's when you're officially an oh. old Canadian. <laughs> okay. When you're like, we need a new Chesterfield. Yeah, it's no. Okay, so I'm like two one now. No, we're two two. Oh, okay. Two two. Oh, okay. Ooh, we got one more each. Or no. oh, you have two uh, more. Yeah. Oh wait, I've got an advantage. Okay. okay. Um, no lose God. No. no lose God. In a sentence, please. Uh, Carson, make sure it's to go that place. No lose God. So she speaks a pigeon sentence that I can barely understand in the first place. Okay, let me say it slowly. Carson. Make sure say as you they go that place, you no lose God. Uh, like, is it like, don't forget your faith? Like, if you were like going to like a casino, and they're like, that's a bad place to go. So like, while you're there, don't forget that like you love God or something. You're almost there. Just like. Don't use like the casino and the religion uh, line. Think about it in like another scenario. So it just means like be a good part, like be good, basically. Like, hey mom, I'm going to a party. Like, you know, lose God. Oh. Yeah, you could say it means that. You could say yeah. You could say like be good. Just be aware, kind of. Right. Be aware. Sweet. 
So I would give it to you. All right. So yeah, I would give it to you. You got that one. You should give it to me. <laughs> Sorry, you can edit that out. Oh my god. You can edit that out. Couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. Okay, okay. Okay, your last one. Okay, my last one. This one should be pretty easy. I didn't actually know this was a Canadian slang, but I have used it. Okay. Uh, serviette. So that's like, um, I mean, it, I can give you a sentence that gives it to you, or I can be a little bit harder. Um, don't forget to lay out the serviettes on the table. Serviettes is like the, like the little tissue. You used to like clean your mouth. Yeah, like a napkin. So basically, that's what it is. Yeah. Everybody says that. No, it's like a Canadian thing, apparently. I say that back home. Like, well, like pass then, me the Soviet, then please. Then you have been infiltrated by Canada. Oh. <laughs> apparently, that is a Canadian original term. Really? Apparently, I looked it up. Really? Yeah, most people say tissue or napkin. I'm pretty I don't sure. Know, maybe like, I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure my Nigerians are watching and know that, like, when we go to parties, they're like, oh, can you like, bring me a Soviet? I don't have any on my table anymore. It's pretty much like used just like Nigeria. Well, I, I don't know. Apparently, it's Canadian origin. It's so easy, I got right. it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, my last one. This one, you definitely. Oh, this is the tiebreaker. If do not a... know this one. Oh, well, I better guess well because I can. You win know, right now. I always leave the best for the last. Mm -hmm. How, what's our score now? 3 3. Ooh, I'm definitely winning. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, so we know she's not going to give it to me <laughs> if I get it because on the nose. I've never used this term with you mm -hmm. before. So, Pepe Doris. Like, hey, car seat, Pepe do Resto. That sounds like a restaurant. <laughs> Come on down to Pepe do Resto for some tacos and some smoked meats. <laughs> we got an old smoke house out back, Pepe do Resto. Because <laughs> if you ain't the best, you're the do rest. Or, I don't know, something. Oh, Pepe do rest? Pepe. Pepe. Like, normal pepper. Do rest. You have used this once before. So I'll be like, let me I don't think, remember it, but I remember. Let me think like of another sentence. So I'll say, um, Carson, when Pepe will rest now? <laughs> Why are these so hard? Mine's like a word. Yours is like this phrase. <sighs> Pepe do rest. Um. I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna just Wait. shot in the dark. Okay. Pepper is a spice. Mm -hmm. Nigerians use spice like you they give me ginger mm -hmm. and things like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna say, <laughs> I'm gonna just say, why are you tired? <laughs> Drum roll. You know what? I wanna give you a little trial. No, that's, I, okay. that's, that's my best guess. Okay. That is the best I'm gonna get. It means there's money in the hand. Oh, I've heard there's that before. There's money in the account. You... Pepe Dorris is like, yeah, we have money now. Oh, wow. oh yeah. Pepe means money. Like so how friend. do you say there is no money in the account? No Pepe Dorris? <laughs> Carson, no Pepe do rest. <laughs> you gotta do that too, every time. Because people don't know what money is, you have to go. Oh my god. So yeah, Pepe do rest means there's money in the hand, there's money in your account. Mm. There's money everywhere. Let's go like Josie Kids. Right. You know, you know what Josie Kids is? <laughs> I definitely don't know what that is. What is this, a bonus round? No. Wait, are we sure? Did we get three? You got. You got. Double double. No, you didn't get double. No, you, did you get double double? No, you said poutine. You got Chesterfield and Serviette. No, I won three to two. Yes. You I won. won. Yeah, you got two. I got three. This is my I can't dance because I'll be out of the frame dance. Really? You yeah. won. Yeah, I got three. What were your What were your five again? I got. I don't even remember them now. I got Halfa. You got the first one. I got Halfa. You missed the second. I got your head. No correct. Oh yeah, you won. And I, yeah, and yeah, you yeah, lose yeah. Guard. yeah, yeah, yeah. You totally won. Although I thought it was you lose God, not you lose guard when you said guard. it. Guard. I thought you guard. Oh, it sounded like you said God. By the way, I won. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you was I thinking I won. Okay, fine, 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 fine. fine. <laughs>
That's all I got out, otherwise I'll be out of the frame. Are you done? Yeah, okay. yeah I'm done, I'm done. That's my victory dance. Oh my god. This is a whipped cream this time, I don't have to wash my face 11 times. <laughs> anyway guys, that was so much fun. So today I've learned what Double Double and Chesterfield? Chesterfield, Double Double, 2-6. And today you've learned what Perpetual Rest and so many other things with me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna endeavor to use Perpetual Rest Every day for the rest of this week, <laughs> the next seven days, every day, you'll be like, I check the bank account, Pepe Doris. <laughs> every day, I'm gonna, I'm gonna message all my Nigerian friends oh and say God. it. It's gonna be awesome. Oh my God. Love it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you guys in our next video. See you later. Bye. Bye. Cue the music. It's recording. We haven't. Oh, we didn't. Start, I thought you started recording already. <laughs> no. Okay, we we again. really need to work on our okay. communication. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, okay. What we want to do is, if you don't know, I'm Nigerian and Carson is from Canada. So what we want to do is, we're gonna say some slangs from like our various countries, and the other person tries to guess. Our various countries? You're from multiple countries, are you? <laughs> Cut! <laughs>